Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 O'Neill Papacy campaign. Uh, Paul has just told me that he is back in Canterbury, which means he will start be to be making more videos because he has more time because he's back in uni, which is good. We just need to wait for one more person to be ready for this new era of this channel, which is Dan, who is still doing his exams. So I'm still doing this series and the uh, Minecraft other series. But once Dan has finished his exams, we will move on to the next era, as I said, of the of this channel. Uh, by era, I mean there has been maybe three eras of this channel, kind of. Uh, first of all, it was uh, me and Paul just uh, playing games on my lap on my computer at home, and my home in uh, Wales. Um, playing Rome Total Realism and then Battlefield from 1942 and then I stopped for a bit because I was starting uni but Paul did not, Paul carried on Paul carried on making videos on, a, on his own for maybe half a year before I joined back in, that was era 2 where Paul <laughs> was doing it on, an, on, an, on himself on his own and that's where we got most of the subscribers really <laughs> before that we didn't get many but most of you came when Paul was on his own. Then I joined again after maybe half a year or three quarters of a year properly. I did do a little bit during that second era, but not very much. I didn't like properly do the channel as I do now. So the third era started maybe early August, July time this last year, where I started actually doing things and. Um, Probably a bit earlier than that, actually. And this is going to, when Dan has finished his exams and we start on our new series of Dark Souls, that, that will be like era 3.1 or something. 3. Point some, like the second part of the third era, where we actually start making even better content, because uh, that's just hopefully what's going to happen. Like, it just keeps on getting better, hopefully. <laughs> Just ex exponentially better as as we continue doing things and we get and we practice more. I don't know. Anyway, uh, let's actually do things on this video. <laughs> um, last time in this O'Neill papacy campaign, I took this duchy from Scotland, which was a good war because now I I've taken a big chunk out of Scotland. They're a lot weaker, not very much weaker actually. And they still have, well, at, at that time I think they were quite broken, but now they've uh, re rejoined themselves. Gwyneth is still trying to take that, but now they're a lot stronger, so <laughs> I don't know how easy it will be when I um, attack them again for another duchy, probably this one, or maybe even this one, I don't know, let's see what the duchies look like. Yeah, this. there's this one, there's this one. There's these three are in a duchy as well, and then there's these, these four, but that is owned by um, Denmark at the moment, I think. Yeah, Denmark. <laughs> Which is massive. <laughs> well, Denmark's usually quite powerful, because you get loads of troops from these counties, and you don't get money from these, but added to these and this and that, and then there's uh, they own this as well, I think. Maybe? Maybe not. I thought they did. What am I doing? No, it doesn't look like it. I'm sure they owned some somewhere in um in England, but not anymore. I think um Scotland took it off them, didn't they? Anyway, um as you may have noticed, I'm in some sort of succession crisis or something. Uh, I'm gonna attack by three people in three different wars. This is war against tyr tyr tyranny of King Alfonso the Just. Oh, that's not me. <laughs> They're attacking Glacier, but I'm in that war because I said I would. But that's nothing I need to worry about. It's only two wars, that's not too bad. This is Irish Civil War for seniority. So he wants to change the succession laws to seniority because he is my uh, my um, dynasty. And he thinks he'll be able to get uh, the kingdom if he does that. Which I will try and stop, but I'm not, don't, not sure how well I'll do. And this is a 
Wolf Island. He wants Ireland, whereas the other guy just wants seniority because he thinks he can get it from that. So I'm in two walls and let's have a look at my troops. Compared to how many troops they have, which is about three or four thousand, I have 1,300. So that would probably mean, how's that doing? Monthly balance 7.3, so I can probably afford... Monthly cost only 6.15, really? For 3,750 men? That doesn't seem right. Maybe not. Whereas this one's like 12.15 for 1,247 men, so that can't be right. Anyway, um, I'm going to have to borrow some money off the Jewish merchants, I think. And then probably even expel the jury to get the uh, 200 more gold. So that'll be 500 gold in total. I do lose two diplomacy, but I have nine, so that's not too bad. We won't be able to get the Jews back until this guy dies, or like he is 60 or something. I'm mad like that. So I'm going to get all this money. If I need to uh, expel the jury, I will do. That is that if that's true, let's just does it change? Oh, it doesn't didn't change. Put that faster. Okay, I got medium church tax, whatever. But that that doesn't make sense, I don't think. I'm going to do this one I think. Get three thousand. Cause I can't that can't be right. <laughs> I don't know. Let's just get all my troops up. Stick them in my capital. Let's actually stick them there. That's probably the better idea. Uh, and I, I'm gonna have to get some more money off the Jew, Jews, aren't I? I think I don't know because I might. Oh, he didn't say yes. I obviously asked him to help me in my war, but I said yes to him. Why didn't he say yes to me? Two stewardship and gardener. That's good. I need more stewardship. Now we've got five demand size, which is very good. And my son is apparently turning out well. He gains the trait charitable. Or I can make him possibly gain the trait greedy. I don't want to do that. Uh, he already has charitable, so I don't need to make him gain the trait charitable. But I can praise him publicly. People would not like him. I'm just going to say he's turning out well. Why not? Okay, so I have... Not as many troops as I thought I did. Like, did I raise both troops? I did. 1064. Where's... Oh, they're down here. Uh, there they are. Okay, so I have... 1268, which is not too great. Um, so I'm going to have to get some more troops out. Definitely. Wow, this... Who is actually in which war? Is it Osiri and Munster? No, it's uh, Ulster and Munster. So these two are together and these two, I guess, are together too. Yeah. Okay. So usually in wars, in this case, civil wars, where there's like two people, two duchies attacking me, you can just attack the main duchy, which will be Munster and Tarconel in these cases. And then you'll get more war score, I think. And then just um, white piece with these guys, and then they'll um, finish that war. Like these, the ones that have joined them don't really matter as much. Obviously, attacking their armies would be good or bad in whichever case. But yeah, um, attacking the main people is more important. So I'm going. To, I don't really need that many troops, actually, do I? I only need like um, maybe. 2,000 troops? Like, 3,000 troops is too much. I could get that one. 2,250 troops. That is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get that one. Okay, so I have 3,247 troops. And I won the war against the tyranny of King Alpho. Alfonso. Alpho. Good. Uh, just drawing my troops together. 3,311 and I guess I should probably bring these guys down here. I'm, mm -hmm. I don't need to attack Ulster. So I'm going to attack Tarakonel first of all, I think. Oh no, but he's... 
Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna attack Munster first of all, and then they won't join because those two aren't in the same war, so they won't join together to attack me, I don't think. Cool or kind? Intrigue or minus diplomacy, but moral damage plus 10. Plus 2 diplomacy, minus 2 intrigue. What was my intrigue like? Hmm. Well, there's only 45% chance, percent chance of getting each, so I'm gonna try cruel. Oh, damn, I got cruel. <laughs> oh, well, I get um, 18 intrigue now. Why is that? Did I, loot? Did I have something that I. beforehand? I don't know. Okay, so I. Damn it, I'm wounded. I should have checked that. Oh dear, Oriole's coming to help someone. Who is he coming to help? Oh, Munster. Munster. He's coming to help Munster, and I'm attacking Munster right now, so I can probably wipe a piece him out or I will beat his army. Come on. Uh, just a second. What's happening with this? I don't particularly want that to happen. Uh, you can come around this way. Go up there. And then come down to <laughs> go a really long way around because I don't want to attack uh, Ulster. Okay, so I have 14% war score on that guy now. I'll just uh, follow his army and try and get as much war score out of his army as possible. 16%. Can I wipe piece him off that? <laughs> no. Okay. Let's continue then. This is the harder of the two wars, I think, because there's more people in it. Okay, 22%. It's, it's usually around 25%, I think, that you can white piece them. Okay, you you stop there. <laughs> 25%, right, so let's see if I can white piece them now. No, I can't. So I'm going to go and attack Oriole, because that should be an easy enough war to win, because it's only 726, and I can bring in these troops as well. Let's just get them. While I'm doing this, actually, let's put some better mercenary um marshal guys <laughs> had to look what it was called uh, on it just to make the uh, army a bit better and let's bring in this guy to help with the war i need mean, as many troops as possible with this i think i think i should be able to win these both both these wars 34 percent come on that must be a white piece now no why not come on you pansy i'm no pansy uh let's go and attack Holster, I think Holster's in this war, isn't he? Alright, yep. And he's brought in the Petty Kingdom of Jorvik. What the hell? Okay, that, that might not be good. Come on. This bloody Iron Man. Oh, what's this? He has offered White Peace. Except, why did he offer White Peace when he was saying, come on, you pansy? What a strange man. Okay, well, um... It turns out making people of my dynasty the uh, dukes and stuff is not really the best idea because I always um, like are pretenders and things. Um, it's good because they like you if you're doing well, but then they always want your like kingdom and stuff because they're your of your dynasty, which is not good. I'm just going to. Prison him, I guess, and then bring in someone of my dynasty into his place. And uh, I would like to imprison all the people that were went against me, but then I, I don't want to because they're my dynasty. <laughs> what does he think of me? He likes me. Why does he attack me? Fly from council, title payment, ambitious. Oh, he's ambitious. That's not good. Anyway, I'm gonna go attack uh, the Duke of Leinster. Try and make him surrender to me too. Well, not surrender, just white piece. Out, and then that can be the end of this war. <laughs> How is my money doing? 3.28, not too bad. I think I have enough money to win both these balls. Instant 42% there. <laughs> For like peace, no, because that wasn't the right person. I, I attacked the wrong person. I told it says you should attack the main duchy, but I attacked the other one. Um, okay, 62%. 
both armies just disappeared when I did that. It's strange. I could prob oh damn it! I could I could have probably just um, taken Tarakono County and uh, got some money off him. No, I wouldn't have done. I would just got a bit more prestige and maybe imprisoned him. But there, nah, not that important really. Awesome! I healed. I did not die from my wounds, which very rarely happens, but sometimes does. And that is that war over. Hopefully, good. White right, piece. Right. Now let's have a look at these laws. I can't do anything with the laws. Uh, let's have a look at these. I guess you can monster. Let's just hmm. no, I'm not gonna do that. Um Oh yeah, I do need to do that. I need to posterize in Dublin to stop them being Norse. They're still Norse after ages. Search economy tech in Dublin as well. It's good to have good technology. And I do not have good technology, I have really bad technology. What's going on? Uh, what should I do? Let's have a look at these. I guess I could put legalism up in a bit, but I only had five out of five. I don't need any more. One, two, three, four. What's the other one that I have? Oh, yeah, Gwen. Yeah. And on this one, I can have. Uh, I think I'm going to wait until I have enough. Oh no, I've got two in my heavy infantry, so I, actually I'm going to put siege equipment up on that one. I don't need another heavy infantry, I don't need to wait until another heavy infantry is available, because I have enough for that one. And I'm going to put cavalry up as well. And I'm going to put light infantry up, because <laughs> I had enough. I could do that, but I'm not going to. And on this one, I'm going to put... Noble customs up and popular customs and religious customs just for the hell of it because I have enough. Anyway, let's go back to this one and I still have chancellor to do. Um, so I'm going. What claims do I have? I have a strong claim on Glamorgan. Why is the sound growing up a lot? Okay, um. Because. <laughs> I don't know. Sound is bugging up a lot. I think I've been playing other games too much. So I'm going to restart my computer and continue this episode after I restart the computer because I don't know. I think it's lagging out a lot. So I shall be back with a jump cut. <laughs> okay, after a quick restart, we are back and we are going to put the uh, Chancellor in Fabricate Claims mode and put him in Powers because I'm going to be taking Glamorgan next with this um, strong claim on the county of Glamorgan as I think I still have a truce with Scotland. I may be wrong. I am wrong. I do not have a truce with Scotland so I can attack Scotland again if I want. But Scotland have not too many troops actually, 2,227 but I don't have very many either. Actually, I have quite a lot now that my vassals have come back. So I c let's just get rid of the, the, my all my troops at the moment, and I am going to attack Glamorgan next because it's it's going to be pretty easy war. I don't need to check on my uh, on this in a bit. I'll do that in a second. But let's just check Glamorgan's troops. Click on him, please. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, 777. Not too bad. I think I should be able to beat that with my 2627 troops. Even if I don't have these hired troops, which I don't really need anymore. I uh, don't think. I'm going to get rid of those troops. Because they just, they just suck up my money away slowly. Let's have a look at this. The College of Cardinals. View and my common opponent score for my best bishop Arnie. Oh, it's still lagging a bit, but I think it should be all right after after the restart. It was only a very quick restart, so I'll need a little bit of time anyway. Anyway, um, six one two, and he's not part of my dynasty. Where is he? Bishopric of Cash Cashel. Is that in? Is that in Dublin? 
No, why, why is that circular? Well, it's going to come back to me. Where is that? It is in Ormond. Okay. But how well is this... How many of them do I have? I have two people of my dynasty in two different bishoprics. This guy has 30 learning and 37, so he's not very old, but he has good learning. So that might mean that he's got good um, color point the score. This guy is also 37, and he has alright learning, but he has some good traits, so he'll probably have good color point the score as well, kind of. Probably not as good as the Arnie guy. This guy has no... Uh, virtues, they're all just neutral in the eyes of <laughs> the church, I guess. Anyway, um, was so I do actually have a truce with Scotland still, I thought I did, but I can I can now attack Albany. I couldn't before because I didn't have a border, but you can attack any duchy, holy war, any duchy, in fact, that you have a um border with, I think. So I can now Holy War Albany, and I can probably Holy War Lothian as well. Yes, I can. So that's that one. So I think Loth oh, uh, Albany will probably be the next one. This is four, because that's four again, whereas this one is only three, and this one's only three. And then the ones in um, England are not uh, like two and stuff, so I don't want to do that yet. It'll be weird, because um, <laughs> when, if I take the whole of Scotland, then, well, if I take more... Scotland <laughs> and I don't actually take the Kingdom of Scotland and Scotland will be down here but the Kingdom of Scotland will not be in Scotland which would be very weird but it's not going to happen for a while uh, the next thing I want to do is attack Gwynedd as I said so let's declare war on Gwynedd before I do that I'll just offer vassalization because that's <coughs> something to just check out before you attack I guess just in case you can just do that, it's much easier than just than attacking them. But let's uh, claim Glamorgan and get up all my troops. 2,631 troops, which is really good. And I'll bring them all the way down there. Got to bring that up to four speed again. It's going to take a while. I could bring loads of boats around. How many boats do I actually have? Oh, I have more than enough boats, but... Oh, I could do that. Yeah, why not? I'll just get all the boats. Boats are a lot quicker, I guess. Than walking, obviously. Let's just stick them all in the Irish Sea and then they can all just jump into the boats. No, I don't need to go back up there. Okay, so... I... Definitely have enough boats. Someone was admitted to the College of Cardinals. He is underneath at the Kingdom of Gwynedd, which is strange, but also kind of good because I want to take that soon, so that might mean that whoever is in there of mine in the same place. Where is he? He's in Dubberth, so I'll probably take that after I take Gwynedd. So if I s when I take that, he will be under my control, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> The more people in the College of Cardinals of under my control, the better, I think. Okay, being brave. I did have one other guy, but he's died, I think. Yeah. Was it a guy from Petty Kingdom of Wessex? It is lagging, isn't it? Oh well. Let's just merge them together. I don't really want me in the front line as such. Put me on the edge. I'll have me on the edge. I have reasonable marshal. And if I'm in actually fighting the war, then um, I can gain prestige and stuff. Oh no, some people are trying to raid me. It doesn't matter at all. <laughs> okay, stick all my troops in Gwent, combine them, gain 2631, and attack Gwynedd. Strange that they this isn't... That was Glamorgan. Why do I keep on saying Gwynedd? Glamorgan. It's different. It's a totally different part of Wales. Somebody else has been admitted to the College of Cardinals. Somebody... Another Cardinal died, it seems. And I can... If I put enough money on this guy, then he'll get enough... Like, if I put 100 on him, 
100 gold, and he'll have enough um, appointment score to be appointed to the College of Cardinals. But he is not part of my dynasty, so I don't care. <laughs> okay. 38 war score already. 76 war score. And now I'll just take one um, part of this county. Only 461 defenders. I can probably assault the holding. There we go. Not really that important. I'll wait until it gets halfway down, then I'll assault the holding. I don't really trust my warriors, my troops, to assault holdings. <laughs> They're usually pretty bad. My daughter has come of age. She is a fortune builder. She is not very good. But she is betrothed to the heir of the petty kingdom of Gwynedd. Right. It's probably not the best. <laughs> but it's... Can I win this? Yeah, I think, I think that's okay. Yeah, I'll just leave that. Yeah, okay. Um, then I'll have a... a alliance with the Petty Kingdom of Gwynedd, but I don't know whether that's a good idea. Because <laughs> I'll lose prestige when I attack them. Not that that's really that important. Oh! Petty Kingdom of Gwynedd has taken these two counties from the Kingdom of Scotland. That means they're a lot more powerful. They don't have Cornwall or Devon yet, so they can't make Wales. I think that'll probably happen very soon. I have a hundred percent, so let's take the Morgan for myself. And what's this? That's where it is. Should I do that? 127 gold? Yeah, why not? But should you bath is mine? Dangerous factions again. <laughs> Bloody hell. This guy really wants me to lose the title of Ireland. Or he really wants to gain Ireland for himself. I can imprison him, can't I? Yeah, let's do that. I have a righteous imprisonment claim or whatever on him, I don't know what to call it. But I can definitely do that. Why does that not that didn't increase? Hmm. Usually it increases when you put your um marsh down there. I don't know, let's Yeah, uh, so I Yes, good. <laughs> I was skeptical of whether that would actually work, it worked. Okay. And I'll lose the chance. Oh, he was a really good chance though. Damn it. Oh well. Let's just stick that guy in anyway. Um, and he can fabricate claims in Paris now because I need the guy to fabricate claims in Paris. And that faction is stopped because he. Well. They can still fight me for it, but he's not in there to back them up, so they lose a lot of their troops. Let's get rid of my army, get rid of my boats. And now I have too much demand size, so I need to give away this duchy to someone. Don't know who though. I think I'm going to stop giving away duchies to my, um, my dynasty. It's not really the best idea, I don't think. This guy maybe? He's got good traits. Celibate and maimed. I'd rather someone who is content so that they don't try and take more. Content is the best trait when it comes to giving people things. Trusting is good as well. <laughs> that means they won't attack you. Um, try and kill you, sorry, maybe. I don't know. Ambitious is very bad. Not really anyone else. This guy maybe? Zealous, gregarious, honest. Hmm. He doesn't have any sons. And he's really old and his wife's really old, so I don't think he'll get any more sons. This guy, homosexual. Zealous, proud. I think I'm gonna go with um, the first one I saw, the guy with ginger hair, this guy. Yeah, he seems pretty good. I'm gonna give him duchy dubas cool but does that mean i don't have a claim on dovith actually thinking <laughs> about it uh declare war claim, did you have a claim on duchy of, on 
do the for him. That's alright, that'll mean he'll like me even more. And for some reason I can't actually declare war. I thought because one of my daughters is betrothed, I wouldn't be able to. But apparently I can, so that's okay. <laughs> so the next thing I'm gonna do is declare war on him to take the with for this guy. And he has 1,543 troops. I have a little bit more. Over 2,000, but I should probably wait until this goes down. Oh wow. <laughs> Mayor Dermate of Galway and Mayor Mirdach of Cavan do not like me at all. Are these these people? No, I guess they're these. No. Hmm. I don't know who those people are. Interesting. Oh, this guy. Mayor of this place. Maybe... Was it, was it another mayor? I think it was probably this place, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It was these two places. The mayors of those two cities do not like me at all. I keep on attacking people. Oh well. Um, yeah, so that will be the next thing I'm going to do. And after that, I'll probably attack Scotland again, I think. Or maybe just... No, because I won't be able to attack Scotland again for a while. So I'll have a truce. And I have a truce on Scot against Scotland as well. 81.5%? Why not try and kill him off? I could probably give people some money as well. Yes, that guy wants money. 15%, that'll bring up to 100%, I think. Well... Around 90-ish percent, nearly 100 percent, probably. Let's see, 87, 97.2, not bad. That'll probably mean I'll be able to kill him, but there's a very big chance that I will not. I do need a better diplomacy person as well. Uh, let's just stick him there, I guess. The longer I wait, the more troops Gwyneth gets as well. Well, the less troops they get, apparently. They've lost a thousand of their top le levy, but they've gained the actual levy they can get at the moment, but they've lost like, the maximum. I have much more than their maximum. I have 4,000, so I should be able to win that war. <laughs> I, I would assume I have more anyway, because I have much more um, area of kingdom. It would be a bit strange if I didn't have more than them. Anyway, um, I think that's the end of this episode, so it wasn't that interesting really. I took Glamorgan and I fought off a civil, two civil wars, kind of, and I've just been looking around seeing what's going on. So I guess I'll see you next time. What's this? To the Ublet. Bye.